Hey traders, this is Champion Trader Kevin Davey and today I'm going to share with you a pretty good trading strategy for the 10-year treasury notes. And here's what it's looked like out of sample after development. So hey, let's get started. Okay. We're going to look at a trading strategy for TY, the 10-year Treasury note futures. Now, TY is the symbol that TradeStation uses, but different data vendors may have different symbols. So uh, it's also commonly referred to as ZN. So you might need that to call that up on your particular platform. But if you're using TradeStation, it's TY. And right near the top you see i've given you a link if you want more information on the contract you can go to the cme group website they list a whole bunch of information for it it's a thousand dollars per point so right now if you were to enter into a contract it's around a hundred and eight thousand dollars or so now i'm going to talk about something interesting later with this particular instrument but take a look at the chart on the right i've highlighted that it only shows monthly data up to 2022 but you can see from about 2006 2007 to 2022 it was basically all in an uptrend as interest rates fell and that's the period that i'm developing the system for and what you're going to find interesting about that is well, hey, so from 2022 on to the present, we've been in an increasing interest rate environment. And when interest rates increase, the Treasury note futures drop. And so they go into a bear market. So keep that in mind for later that I developed the system on a bull market. And yet the past year and a half, we've been facing a bear market. How does it work? We'll see. Okay, so if you want to set up your chart, it's uh, at TY. That's the continuous back adjusted contract, which is, I trade. And I'm doing 1,440 minute bars here instead of daily bars. And there's some specific reasons I do that. The 1,440 minute bar will close. The closing price on that bar will actually be the last price traded as opposed to the exchange settlement price. And... If you're a little confused about that, I have some info, I think, on my website about it. But daily bars might give different results than the 1440-minute bars. So just keep that in mind. Let's take a look at some sample signals and how this strategy is actually built. And then I'll show you code that you can use with TradeStation. So what I've plotted here are 21 day or 21 bar highs and lows which is basically one month so it's a one month high one month low and if you look at the signal bar it occurs right before you enter short we're entering short at the open of the next bar so the bar I've identified is the signal bar and to enter a short signal there's two components to it it's pretty simple first has to be a 200 bar downtrend. So we're talking, what, 10 months or so that the price, the closing price today is less than the closing price 200 bars ago. That defines a downtrend. And then the second part of it is that it hits the lowest low of the past month or the past 21 bars. Both of those things happen, it'll go short exact opposite when it goes long so if it was a 200 bar uptrend and it hit the highest high of the last 21 bars then you'd go long and you might notice there's quite a few cases where that does happen after that short signal you can see right here it happens here all through here and over here and you might say well how come it didn't go long well that was rule number one not being followed so meaning even though rule number two was met for all these points that hit that line rule number one 
was not hit and it was still in a downtrend. And again, for a long signal, it would have to be in an uptrend. But that's kind of how it's set up. And if we look at the code, this is TradeStation, easy language code, but my guess is if you've ever programmed in any kind of strategy, you should be able to understand this. I'll walk you through it real quickly. So up top we have the entry rules. We say if the close is greater than the close 200 bars ago and the high of the current bar is the highest high of the last 21 bars, then buy the next bar at market. You'll notice it's exactly the opposite for short, going short. We're looking at a 200 bar downtrend and we're looking at the lowest low. So I like to have symmetric entries a lot of times and this is a good example of that. Now for the exits, we have two different exits. One, we're just going to evaluate the open position profit at the close of every bar. And if that closing price leads to an open position loss of more than $5,000. So that's a big loss and that's per contract because everything here is just based on one contract. Then you just exit the next part market. It's a little bit different than a traditional stop loss where with TradeStation you'd use set stop loss. But uh, I like this for a few different reasons. It's basically the same as a stop loss. It just doesn't get hit during the bar. You'd, end, you'd exit on the next bar at the open if that was hit. And then the second exit is one I like to use in a lot of places where you just exit after a certain number of bars. Win or lose, doesn't matter. I'm saying after 100 bars, which is about four or five months, five months, closer to five months actually, you're just going to exit. Okay, and then go flat. So those are the two exits. That's all the code. And when you look at the equity curve from 2007 to now, you can see during the development phase, which ended around 2022, it was doing pretty good. And then ever since then, it has continued to do good. Not a lot of trades with this. So this is more of a long-term type strategy. You might say, oh man, I want to trade every day. Well, that's fine. Then maybe this isn't for you. But for people who are looking at for good risk-adjusted returns, sometimes longer-term strategies where you stay in a trend for a long time tend to work out pretty well. And this is a good example of it. The back test looks good. And also, the area in the blue, which is the real-time performance. So keep in mind, I, that is performance after I developed the strategy. That's looking pretty good too. And if we look at the performance report, we can see we do make about twice as much money on the long side as the short side. That's kind of to be expected. And again, there's not a whole lot of trades. If you look at the annual performance over on the right, you'll notice that 2022 and 2023 have both been pretty solidly profitable. And remember, that's after development and it's also during a bear market. And I'll show you that. So this is the, the interesting point. The circled area in yellow is what I developed the system for. And you can see there are some smaller downtrends, but nothing dramatic it's mostly up it's mostly a bull market but as i said i developed it so the strategy could go long or short and you can see the boxed area in the blue is from 2022 where it's clearly in a bear market as interest rates have gone up so that's the interesting thing about this strategy even though i developed it on what was basically a bull market it's done really well in that blue area. And had I said, well, hey, it's just a bull market. I'm only going to go long with this strategy. I can pretty much guarantee 2022 and 2023 would have been terrible. Because how are you going to have a good bull uh, trend in that kind of market? You're not. And if you only go long in the blue box, you're going to suffer. So again, that's why 
I like to have strategies that go long and short because just because of the last 15 years or so was an uptrend doesn't mean it's going to continue and you want to be prepared for that. So it's been a pleasant surprise that this strategy has done so well in a bear market when you look at the data it was built on. Okay, uh, that's just the simple version of the strategy. I also, as part of my process, I create a walk forward version of the strategy. If you don't know what walk forward version, uh, walk forward is, if you take my course, my strategy factory course, I teach you that, but the chart on the right shows you what the walk forward version of the strategy would look like. And again, the area in pink is the real time performance. So it's done pretty well then. And again, if you're interested in more information, you can find it out about my workshop at my website, kjtradingsystems.com. Up at the top, you can just click on workshop, learn all about my award-winning workshop. Well, I want to thank you for watching. If you have questions, you can always send me an email, but you can also leave comments. I respond to them. Don't forget to hit subscribe. And if you like this video and you want to see more strategies like this, give it a thumbs up, give it a like. I'm Champion Trader Kevin Davey. Have a great day.